Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So, after putting up my drone question video about the Cyma X5, the $44 bestseller on Amazon, got some great feedback. Uh, one of our viewers suggested the Cyma X8. G, which is apparently a better one and can carry a HD camera. Now he's still saying that we should, uh, or I should, learn to fly on something like, like the X5 because it's super easy to fly and cheap. Um, check it out. We'll uh, go over the comment. His, uh, he's got some great uh, feedback in his comments. And I'll show you the X8 and um, you can see uh, what you think. And also help me decide. Now it begs the question, should I jump straight to the X8? Or should I do what he suggests to get the X5 and then go to the X8? Okay, so this was the Cyma X5C or is the Cyma X5C that I was looking at that we did the video on yesterday, which looks like a really good entry level quad. It's only $43.99, Amazon bestseller, 4,000 plus reviews, four and a half out of five stars. It looks like a no brainer to learn on. But somebody else had recommended, let's see, where's the comment here? Mind Rover Powell. Mind Rover. It's definitely worth it. This is referring to the X5. Not for the video, picture, or flight time, but for the most almost indestructible training time you will get. Don't spend any more money on a quad until you've learned to fly. I have flown these and they are great learner quads. I would suggest moving up to a Sigma X8G after the X5C. It will give you more of a feel for the DJI style camera platforms. So thanks a lot, Mind Rover. Really appreciate that. I don't have any experience flying. So, um, Good point, and here is the X8C that he's talking. I think he said X8C. It's the uh, he said oh he says X8G. So I don't know if there's a big difference. The X8C here is uh, seventy nine ninety nine. The Cyma X8G. Let's have a peek and see if it comes up. Um, X8G is a hundred and thirty four ninety five. So I don't know what the difference is. I'll have to check that out, although it does come with an 8 megapixel HD camera. So I don't know how good that is, but might be a okay first camera. So there's the X8G available, and I'll have to compare that and see because that X8G, this is it right here, nice looking uh, copter, is $134.95, but you can get the, I guess I assume, the older model, which is one we were just looking at, and that's this X8C for $79.99. So that might be an all right uh, copter as well. So I'll have to see what the differences are between the two. But um, Mind Rover, I really appreciate the uh, input there. Um, what do you guys think though? Should I start with the X8C or the X8G um, and just try and take it easy and learn on that and not crash it? Or should I buy what the original one I was looking at here, the X5C, which had a lot of people saying was a great little learner unit, as Mind Rover just said, um, and then move up to the X8. The reason I want this X8C, or conversely, the um, the X8G here, I guess I lost my, my page here. Where did that go? This X8G is that you get the much better camera. We're into 1080 HD. I guess this says it supports a 720 or 1080p MOV. But with the X8G or the X8C, you can put a better camera on, like a GoPro or a quad cam or a real cam. I forget what the other, the other names were, but other people were putting different cameras on. So I'm just curious, what do you guys think? Should I jump straight to the X8 or should I start with the X5 here and learn just in case I do some crashing? So, or, you know, I guess I could buy both and, and, and have them. It's not a big deal um, because the X5 can go to the kids when I'm done if I haven't destroyed it. Anyways, what do you guys think? X5 first or should I go straight to the X8 and skip the X5? Thanks for your feedback, guys. Appreciate it. This is um, this is exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to get my first drone, my first quadcopter, but I know nothing about them other than just what I've been reading and what you guys are telling me. So if you can leave some feedback in the comments below, if you've owned either of these, flown either of these, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.
Hey folks. Okay, so here is the Sima, Sima X8. This is the X8G. You can also get the X8C. I have to decide. That might be the better option. I don't know what the differences are, but if it's not that much of, you know, just a minor update, then that's you can save, you know, $50 here, 79.99 versus 134.99. But uh, if you'll remember, Mind Rover said he suggests stepping up to the X8G after the X5C, after I've learned to fly on it. But when I was watching videos, I found the Tarantula X6 compared to the X8, and they were saying what a great copter this is. And you can get this one without a camera for sixty ninety five, which the fact that it doesn't have the camera is fine with me because I want to add a better camera on there and you can get those for anywhere from 60 to you know a few hundred dollars so this might be a great option I mean, this is four out of five stars 51 customer reviews they said this was lighter than the x8 and very solid and able to haul a camera no problem um, and they're saying eight minutes of flight time so it's a neat looking drone looks wise i honestly don't even really care that much i just if it's if it's if it's um you know a good drone if it's uh if it works well and it can do what i want it to do so if i'm looking at the x8 or the x6 this tarantula x6 or this x8 either the c which is 79.99 or the x8g i have to see if it's got some better features if it's worth it it could just be the camera that comes with is better um what do you guys think would you go with the tarantula x6 which is this one here at 60.95 and then add a camera or would you go with one of the X8s here, either the X8C here at $79.99 or the X8G at $134.99? Uh, leave your comments below. I'd really like to hear your feedback. I'm uh, I'm very excited here, drone shopping, but I've never owned one. I don't really know much about them. I'm learning from you guys. I'm learning from what I'm reading here, and I really appreciate those of you uh, like Mind Rover who have flown these things and are giving your feedback. So uh, maybe Mind Rover, you can chime in. Maybe you've flown a Tarantula X6 and you still prefer the X8G. I don't know. Um, looking forward to hearing your feedback, folks. Leave it in the comments below. I'll put the links for all these below as well so that those of you that are interested in checking these out that don't know about it like myself or weren't aware you could get up, uh, you know, a um, quadcopter for this low a price, like 60 or $80, you can check it out too. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Talk to you soon. Okay, so we have our options for higher-end quadcopters that can carry a camera. The Sima X8G is $134.95. The Sima X8C is only $79.99. And then we also have the Tarantula X6 as an option at $60.95, which can carry a camera as well. That begs the question, as I was saying, which camera do we want? This run cam has been highly recommended. It is this is the run cam two. It's a little bit more expensive. I think the other one was sixty, but this one is um, 1080p at 60 frames per second and it has a, a nice low latency to it. Four out of or no five out of five stars. Four customer reviews. This is the cam here, and I believe you can plug it straight into the power of the quadcopter, which is nice. As an option to those, obviously we have the uh, the GoPros, which range anywhere from about 150 to you know four or five hundred dollars. Um, so that's an option, but that's our high-end option. We've got the Able Grids here. 12 megapixel 1080 camera is $59.99. Comes with this really cool um, waterproof case and mount. So that's a that's a bonus there. This is well reviewed at uh, it's a bestseller again. Four to five stars, 30 customer reviews. This is $59.99. Uh, the list on it's $199. You can step up to the Able Grid 4K camera for only $109.99. And uh, this is four and a half, four out of five stars, 10 customer reviews. Then we've got the SJ cams, which seem to be the same as the Able Grid. They actually have the same designation, the SJ5000, which is the same as this one here, the SJ5000. Just a price difference, really. Oh, where is it? There it is. So $143.99 versus $59.99. So I think I would go with the uh, Able Grid. Then we've got this uh, Yi action cameras, and these were very highly rated. These have a Sony Exmor R BSI sensor here, as you can see. I like the look of these too. These are very Apple-esque, if I may. They look, you know, very simple, 
very uh, classy design to them here. And uh, 7839 is not bad. I haven't seen this one in a 4K version where I do like the idea of 4K. So this 4K model here of the Able Grid 4K for 109 looks very good. So anyways, um, I wanted to just ask you guys, what do you think? Do you guys have uh, experience with the um, SJ cams, the Able Grids here, either in the 4K or the 12 megapixel um, 1080 camera? Or the Yi. Do you have experience with the Yi? I mean, that does look good that it has the Sony Exmor in it. The Yi has um, uh, some kits available. I think any of this uh, stuff fits a lot of these things. This one says it fits the GoPro Hero or the, the, the Yi. This is $32 for all this additional uh, accessories. So that looks like a good deal. I'm probably going to have to throw that in too. And um, you got the Yi handlebar bike mount, which probably fits the, the uh, Low Pro as well. $14.99. Uh, five out of five stars, eight customer reviews. That looks like it'll go great on my mountain bike, which I'm looking forward to using the action camera for as well. We also have an underwater housing here for the Yi. So that's $19.99 um, because Yi didn't come with one. But you can get it for $19.99. So if it, you know, if you, if you guys are saying the Yee's the better camera, I don't mind spending 20 bucks on the housing. So what do you think, guys? Um, the Yi, one of the SJ cams, one of the Able grids here. For those of you that have shot this, have experience with it, know somebody that has one, leave your feedback below. I'd love to hear back from you. I'm trying to decide on which camera to use, um, not only on the drone, but also just as an action camera. Uh, it'd be great for a dash camera in the car, for on my bicycle, head mounted, depending on what we're doing, just to get some awesome extra footage. Really appreciate it if you can leave um, some comments below. Uh, help me make my decision here. I'll put the links below for those of you that haven't seen these or are interested in these. I'll put the links below. You can check them all out. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be back soon. Um, I'll let you know what I decide on both the drones and on the camera. Um, and my decision is going to be, I'm going to factor in what you guys have to say about these. So thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.